Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly in interpret purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, Kimmy finally wants to address Maurice about all the mess that he's been talking and because the people are talking about him, how he is um, making jokes and about her uh, libido and not being able to have sex with him and so now finally she wants she gets up the courage to address him and you know to confront him because people are talking about him um by uh having sex with his wife that has cancer and kimmy is talking about maurice didn't protect her but Kimmy needs to realize that not only did Maurice not protect her, but I haven't seen anything that he's done worthy enough since they've been on the show. I mean, only thing he's done for her really is gave her his last name and she walking around um, like it's a badge of honor, like she didn't want a prize or something. And even in this clip, that's being shown Maurice is he's sitting up here smirking and you know he still think it's a joke talking about he need Jesus and all this other stuff he need a therapist no and she's still sitting up here entertaining him and stuff no Kimmy it's like what is it gonna take but I really don't feel sorry for Kimmy because every time she make a post or anything like that it's always Team Maurice, team, uh, well, team Reese, Team Reese. It's never Team Us. It's never um, us against the world. It's only Team Reese. So it's like she, she get what she get what she put out. And the only thing she's putting out is that it's all about Reese. It's all about Maurice. So that's all she's getting back is that it's all about Maurice. It's like no matter what Maurice does, says, or anything she is team marie so why would he do anything different he hasn't protected her protected her in all this time so why do she feel as though he needs to start now what you see is what you get and we probably ain't seen nothing yet but i haven't seen marie's profess or provide um uh, for kimmy while she was she's been on love of mary transville and i believe even uh, him giving her that, that Jeep, what it was, it a Rubicon? Hell, he probably, uh, if he did buy it, he bought it with her own money, in my opinion, allegedly. Or it was rented, made to, uh, uh, you know, another uh, ploy to make people think that they have it going on on the show. But any... Other than no, I, I mean, I haven't seen, I haven't seen him do anything really for her. He can't even uh, help around the house, knowing that she's sick. So, no, get out of here with that. But Kimmy, she knows that Maurice was not trying to be a husband. In my opinion, Maurice was trying to be a gigolo, and she knows that. If love and marriage Huntsville would not have happened, Kimmy would still be single. Chasing after Maurice and Maurice would still be um, living couch to couch somewhere, in my opinion. But he didn't want to be married. He wanted to be the gigolo. Kimmy can front all she wants uh, for the show, but it's, it's, it's very evident that Maurice would rather be single. He's a whole married man that stays out to 4 a.m. And he don't care. He don't help her around the house. And um, knowing she's sick or um, going through what she's going through, he brings his son to give her extra duties. Like, what husband would do that knowing that your wife is sick and everything that she's taking on? I mean, he didn't even 
think to drive her to and from her chemo session when they were at the expo. He was like, oh, she's on her way. She, um, she had to have chemo. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? And now I thought something was out about that story. Um, it, it just felt all wrong to me only because, and this is not my place to say, and I'm just talking out loud, but it's like, I don't know. It was it made up or something, uh, him saying that, that she went, that she was coming to the expo right after her chemo session. Um, or did he misspeak? What was it? Because from my recollection, when uh, when a person is coming from chemo, they're worn out. They're not, uh, they don't feel like being around nobody. They don't feel like attending no galas, no parties, no nothing. They're sick. And I've seen people that have been through it. And trust me, they are not up to partying afterwards. And they're definitely not about to dry themselves. And even come to think of it, when they did, I mean, afterwards, I mean, even though they didn't try to drive, but they were told that they couldn't drive, even though, even if they felt like it, um, they were told that they had to be held over for like a couple of hours um, after the chemo because the drugs that they get um, during that time, during that treatment is really, really strong. So they're not able to um, to drive themselves or, you know, do anything, uh, handle any type of um, heavy machinery or anything. So I'm just, I don't know, this scene just felt off to me, unless my recent Tisha misspoke. But anyway, um, let me get back on topic. That's, um, that's none of my business. I was just... It, it just came to mind and I spoke on it. I was just talking out loud, but my apologies. Let me get um, back on topic. It just, it just, it just weirded me out that Maurice knew that his wife had chemo and regardless of what was going on um, about the expo, uh, it doesn't matter. He should have been by Kimmy's side every step of the way and not allowed her to drive herself or even if he thought she could or even even if he thought that she was strong enough he should have been there but anyway i um back on topic but like i said kimmy she's in no better position than tisha in my opinion because um all the scott i mean the scott 1.0 Marceau, he treats Tisha the same way. Um, the only difference is that Kimmy is the breadwinner, in my opinion, in her household. And Tisha, only thing she's good for is being the head signer in charge. Um, yes, she has she's on paper as being 85% owner, but what I mean, have we really seen her actually operate anything or do anything? Uh, speak to anybody? No, we haven't seen. I mean, we really haven't seen Marcel do do too much either. But we have heard Maurice tell her to stay in her place. But anyway, it's like Maurice got Kimmy living way beyond her means to the point of her uh, having her take out lines of credit to do what? Play around with Maurice? Where are they going? To black? It's like, how much money do you need to play around black, play around a black? Maurice, your brother, your family own the bar. So wouldn't you be able to drink for free, eat for free? So again, where, where are you going? So I, I don't get it. And it's like, what, it's like, what money do you need or why would you risk your residence your place uh where you stay where you lay your head by taking out all of these frivolous lawsuits i mean i'm sorry i'm sorry these frivolous um lines of credit it's like um kimmy is allowing maurice to drain her 
uh, drain her whole life financially, mentally, physically. And she's allowing it all because she wants to be married. She once stated on the reunion stage that um, she was um, conservative with her money. And she's, you know, she's basically frugal. She doesn't like to spend. She likes to save and because she doesn't know. Um, she likes to save for what if, basically. And I'm paraphrasing what she said. But the to sum it up, she was thinking about rainy days. She wasn't just trying to live for today. And it seems like her and Maurice is not on the same page with that because if if uh, she's taking out lines of credit on her home that was bought and paid for by her and she's uh, refinancing it, in my opinion, for him, for his benefit, to do what? And it's like that's going against everything that Kimmy said on that reunion stage, which further lets me know that Maurice don't give a damn about her because if he did, he would respect the fact and he would at least um, stay away from her residence. Why is he um, having her take out lines of credit or equity in, uh, of, of their home, their residence? But he claimed to have other, um, other property so why not take out a loan on one of those residential properties? What, those not worth anything? It's like, again, how much money do you need? But like I say, that's, that further lets me know that Maurice is not trying to um, help, Mar uh, help Kimmy or protect Kimmy or anything because why would you put her through that stress knowing um, that of what she's going through, her sickness and stuff. She shouldn't have to be worried about, you know, making a mortgage payment, especially when she then paid the whole house, uh, paid her house off. She should be looking forward to retiring early, living out her golden years, sitting around her, um, her house, her backyard, drinking on Kool-Aid or whatever. But what she shouldn't be doing is worrying about are we going to make next month's payment because my husband had me take out a line of credit or a second mortgage on our home. But Kimmy has allowed Maurice to take control over everything. And that has to do with her and she's not reaping any of the benefits. And he probably hold it over her head and, um, talking about oh i'm a lawyer and she probably feels trapped because all of her stuff is tied up into his name and because she know he is that lazy won't get a job or anything like that she probably feels as though that um she'll wind up upside down and wind up um not only being on the hook for his bills but also probably paying him spousal support because um, I don't know what all he has her tied up in, but it looks like she is the, um, she's the breadwinner and she has all the assets, well, had all the assets. And, but yet here she go season after season, sitting up on Love and Mary Tunsville, screaming team Reese when she needs to be screaming me too. And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.